Oh, this is Haku Debian. I am still sick. If you saw the last video, then you should already know that. Today, we are going over SCP-184, known as the Architect. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. If not, then don't. Item number, SCP-184, Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures SCP-184 is not to be contained in any structure. SCP-184 is to be attached to a high-powered electromagnetic magnet at all times. To the electromagnet fail, agents are to report to SCP-184's containment area and prevent access to all un unauthorized personnel until the electromagnet is restored to power. The containment area for SCP-184 is currently configured to resemble a park with SCP-184 and its containment magnet. Agnet disguised as statuary. Any and all visitors are to be monitored. Any structures affected by SCP-184 are to be demolished after review by data expunged. Kind of curious what this is, although I don't know if I'm going to have the ability to read it today. No, I'm not. <sighs> Final demolition and approval or inclusion into the SCP will also be determined by this body. No investigation is to be done without done into affected structures without approval on a rescue team on standby. Description SCP-184 is a small, smooth metallic object, 10 centimeters tall and 10 centimeters wide in the shape of a dodecahedron. Each face of the of the figure has a circular hole in the center and a small sphere is attached to each vortex. SCP-184 is made of an unknown but highly magnetic alloy, about as hard as brass. When inside an enclosed structure, SCP-184 expands the structure's inner dimensions without altering its outer dimensions. SCP-184 will increase the inner dimensions of any enclosed structure by, by several hundred meters each day, beginning one hour after entry into the structure. Initially, SCP-184 only extends the walls out, causing rooms to become much larger without adjusting the height of the room. The expansion continues until the original dimensions of the room have been tripled. At this point, SCP-184 starts creating wholly new rooms. SCP-184 is apparently able to copy items from inside the structure, creating furnished rooms consistent with the rest of the structure. After a period of time, however, the expansion process appears to break down. For examples, all items will be made from inappropriate materials, glass books, a wooden microwave, rooms will be oddly shaped, doors will open into blank walls, and hallways will be tiny or twist back around in long mazes. The new inside structure continues to be more and more odd, while the outside remains unchanged. This behavior is most dramatically illustrated in homes, however it has been and observed in other instances including cardboard box. The changes do not go away with the removal of SCP-184, but no additional structures are created. <sighs> Addendum 184-1 Note from Dr. Blake I don't think I need to stress the fact that this thing can never be allowed in, into Site-19. We will need to look into different containment at some point, but for a time being, we will we'll need to keep it in the open and immovable and hidden. Addendum 184-2 Locations of interest It is currently hypothesized that SCP-184 or an anomaly with a similar effect may be responsible for the creation of locations of interest such as Backdoor Soho and Chugoku Usellar. Investigation into SV-184 as a potential original or origin for these spaces is ongoing. <sighs> and then on 184-38RB, Notes on Recovery. SV-184 was recovered in Kowloon in Wild City in June of an unknown year. Reports of the city's bizarre and explosive growth attracted operatives who soon learned of SV-184. Held in possession of a data expunge, after several police crackdowns, Mobile Task Force Zeta Knight was dispatched and recovered SCP-184 with minimal losses. The final effect of exposure to SCP-184 on both the city and inhabitants may never fully be understood due to reckless actions of local law enforcement, which destroyed several affected sections of the city before operatives could take action to prevent it. Interviews with residents yielded minimal information with a communal wall of silence being the major response. A few documents indicated that SV-184 could be bought 
brought into a home and allowed to affect a dwelling for 50 pounds for for 50 pounds sterling per half hour. These documents were unconfirmed by residents. <sighs> that was SCP-184, The Architect. If you liked the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to make one more short video, and then I think I'm going to pass out. I'm sorry that these videos are incredibly short today. I'll see you next time.